Hey, what's going on guys? Um, this is Joel with Freedom Flippers. I'm just gonna show you a quick tutorial on Scoutly. This is an app that we highly recommend if you're flipping books, just because of the speed and accuracy and just all around. Um, so yeah, we highly recommend this app. Uh, the link is in the bio. Uh, the link is an affiliate link, but that's just the way, you know, we give you guys free content. That's just the way that you guys can support us if you are gonna use it. it uh, the product but we just recommend it because we use it and we love it so you open up your scoutly app um at first it looks a little uh confusing so that's another reason why i'm making this tutorial what you want to do when you first open it up is you want to tap scoutly in the top left hand corner and then that will bring up your menu so then you see it says like download data test operating mode uh, profit triggers those are kind of the ones that you really want to focus on because um, Scoutly doesn't just, it will notify you when a book is profitable, but it will only notify you by your standards. So if you want your book to be $10 profitable or $20 profitable, then it will notify you. So to set your, uh, your standards, you want to hit profit triggers, or sorry, profit trigger. Um, and you can also use this for like books, DVDs, CDs, video games, and uh, other stuff. I just use it for a uh, book for my books. And then as you see, when you're scrolling through here, you can set a number of different triggers. I usually just use two. I, uh, I hardly use the second one. Most of the time I actually just use the first one. Uh, to edit that, you tap the trigger there, just the center of the white space there. And as you can see, um, there's sales count. I usually just skip that. Um, sales rank is key. You always want to have uh, be watching that sales rank, which um, if you don't know what uh, BSR or sales rank is, is it's just Amazon's way of rating of how well something sells. Uh, so the lower the sales rank, the better it sells. Um, you can also have a filter for merchant fulfillment. Um, you can see how many FBA offers you can compare to how many just FBM offers. And then way at the bottom, that's important. It says minimum target profit. Uh, I have, I personally do $10. Uh, there was a time in my life where I was doing $5, but then I changed my mind. There was a time where I was doing $20. Um, so then you can put $10 there and then you can hit the, it'll say color. So this will be the color that lights up on the screen when you scan a profitable book or sorry a book that meets your standards and then you can have a sound so i have a cash sound you can hear uh there's camera so that's my uh trigger sound so you can have multiple triggers with different colors and uh different um sounds so my second trigger i set as a maybe so my first trigger i set as a definitely buy I set a second trigger as a maybe just because it has a little bit of a higher rank, but I set it as a higher rank because if it has a higher profit and it's like, I will maybe consider take a risk on this book and just give it a shot, see if it sells. Uh, so yeah, that uh, concludes profit triggers. That's really all you need to know. Um, so we'll go back to the menu. Um, a thing you'll want to do is if you don't want to drain all your data is you can actually download the database. Um, so then you hit download, you USA, Canada, or UK. So this is very important. If you're in Canada, you want to download the Canadian uh, database, USA, obviously, you know, so on and so forth. I was actually, um, so we're in, based in Canada. There was a couple that was also book flipping uh, in my area, and they were using Scout IQ, which is a different scouting app. But the reason we don't use Scout IQ here in Canada is because it doesn't have the Canadian database. So they were using the American database in Canada, therefore having the wrong data. And I only saw them there for a few months and then never saw them again. So I'm guessing they threw in the towel because they had the wrong data and they didn't know it. Uh, so yeah, then this is easy. You just hit book and other media. You hit your database that you need to pay on what country and then you hit start and it'll download your database. It takes about 20 minutes. You wanna do this about every week or every time before you go sourcing so that your data is fresh. because. As we know, uh, data changes like every second on Amazon. Um, yeah, and then what, you wanna hit your operating mode. 
uh, operating mode, you can do database only, that's what I use, or you can do uh, database and live, live only. So the reason I do database only is because it's the fastest. So let's go back. Um, and this is how you actually scan. So what you want to do is when you're going to your store, you want to hit the top right corner and there you can put in roughly what the buy cost is. I usually put $4, even though our books, our books sometimes range from three fifty to four, uh, probably four twenty at the highest. That depends if, you know, there's a sale or whatever the price book. So I usually just put $4 for my thrift store. Um, and then what you can do is you hit the bottom right hand corner and scan. And then you grab a book and you scan the barcode. And then as you can see on the screen there, it lights up green, it did the ching sound and it shows me all my different offers. So on the far left here, it says used. Those are all just FBM offers. Those ones are not offering prime shipping. Um, and all the ones on the right, those ones are new offers and then there's used FBM and new FBM. So that's what happens when you scan a good book, you know, and then you can just keep going. These are some books that I sourced just the other day. Boom. Those are all good ones. And then actually what a cool feature is, is it actually adds up all of your profit. Let's see if my, there we go. So as we can see here, you can go and you can see, oh, I've, out of all the scanning that I've done, I've done a total profit of $40,000. That's like through the last year that I've used this app. But let's reset it. And I'll just show you here that it actually adds up all of this. Oh, it scanned that one twice. So we might get that one twice on our add up by accident. And as you can see, that is way, way faster. So that's $46 profit. Um, yeah, and then this is what it looks like when, so this book is a dud. At least I think it's a dud. Yeah, dud. So, uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is, so you scan the book in the top right corner, it says the sales rank. What's nice about Scale is it actually averages your, your sales rank because um, the sales rank changes as more, so when a sale happens, the sales rank drops. So it actually averages it out and gives you more of an accurate reading of a sales rank on a book. Because someone could have just bought that book on Amazon and you go to scan it and boom, it has a really low sales rank, but really in reality, it never, never sells. So um, yeah, that's really good. Uh, one thing I also didn't mention is the profit is in the top right corner there. Uh, this book specifically is like, eight dollars profit ranked 460 406k so yeah that's a good book um another thing we recommend uh you don't have to do this you can obviously you could rip through books super fast with just your phone but i recommend a bluetooth scanner so i use this one because i can put it on my hand and i can maneuver books with it too and then and then i just go boom way way faster uh yeah so that's skeltly uh link is in the bio or if you're on tiktok yeah link is in the description um follow us on tiktok on instagram at freedom flippers and just get flipping already come on